much progress has taken place. We've got the walls done. We've got the floor done, even covered up. Got the water streams ready to catch some cactus. And I was much smarter this time. I actually used concrete powder. And now all we need to do is drop a little bit of water down there and it will turn it into concrete, of course. So I do need to go around and do all the walls as well as this guy. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like some sort of upside down weird face there. That is funny. And I do need to deal with some things here. The water needs to carry underneath this farm somehow. So I got to figure that out and then figure out how it's all going to come to a collection. But yes, it is coming along. And this is actually where we're going to put a glass ceiling down here as well. So we could walk right on top of the cactus farm, which I think is going to be pretty cool. But first, I get to do this water curtain all the way around this place to turn it all into concrete. All the walls are now concrete and I carved underneath this so the items can continue to travel past this pillar here all the way to the end where we're going to have a collection system that's going to collect cactus from this cactus farm right here. So it went with a very simple design and it's not 100% lossless or anything like that, but it doesn't need to be because just look, one row look how many cactus we fit in and just this one and there's gonna be one here one here one here all the way down here i think i just heard one just go there oh there it goes <laughs> hopefully that gets into the storage system which i'll show you in a second and this is going to be a lot of cactus. So, of course, not only are we going to go all the way across, all the way down from wall to wall, but we're going to go all the way up to where that glass is up there. So I think we're going to fit, you know, quite a few layers of cactus in, and it is going to be producing like crazy, I'm sure. I mean, we've got this one row in already, and I saw a few cactus pop off. So I'm going to come and see how we collected very many cactus already. It's only been a few minutes. And, uh, yeah, you can see you just slide it under here hopper chain collecting them here we'll bring them all the way down here and we'll merge them together back here and bring oh my goodness 28 cactus oh wow and that's just half of it because i haven't merged the systems here we have that chest there and then i got another one over on this side that we're gonna have to merge somewhere back here and then bring up to the top of course so we can put it in our sorter and another 27 wow that's kind of crazy they were almost even there nice okay very cool very cool so as you can see we're gonna have plenty of cactus but I actually need to let this go for a while so that I can collect some more because I smelted all the cactus down into green dye and, and now I don't have any cactus really left <laughs> so we're gonna have to just use this row to make us some more oh there we go another one popped off very nice and we'll just wait this out maybe uh wait this out overnight maybe i'll afk tonight or something and we'll see if we can get a whole bunch and then i will probably do a live stream where i build up the rest of this farm because that definitely feels like a live stream worthy task so if you're not following me over on twitch.tv slash impulse sv now would be a good time to go do that so you don't miss that live stream anyway we got a lot to do today i'm gonna go ahead and uh move on from this project we got to worry about our secret base, so um, I want to go over there and kind of let you in on a little secret. So here's the deal. I got a message from Corrales on Discord asking about what all this secret base business was. Apparently, some of you have been leaving him comments saying that I have a secret base in his base. And I guess there was enough of them that he was getting suspicious. So I did my best to, to play dumb and I told him I didn't know anything about what he was talking about. And <laughs> and um, he, he said, well, he's going to investigate it. So I got a bad feeling he's going to find our secret base, our speakeasy, you remember? So, anyway, um, I decided instead of um, him just finding it, we're, we're going to leave him a, a little bit of a present here. So I got together with B-dubs and Grian, and uh, we, we added some decorations to the place, as you can see. Welcome, guys, to my speakeasy. We have to... We come have to be quiet, you. though. He can't yeah. hear you. Look, <laughs> oh, Corrales. Right, oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> he can't hear us. He is right there, though. Yeah. Yeah, stay crouched. I don't want him to find it yet. Um, mm -hmm. But, hello. This was supposed Hi. to be my secret base. But I've I've recently discovered that I, I think Corrales might be on to me. Wait, yeah, you showed yeah. it in your video, dude. Like... I know. What were you expecting? Well, you okay, have... I thought the viewers were going to give out the wrong information and confuse them, but yeah, I, I think he's on to us. 
Maybe, mm. yeah. I showed so, mine on video too by accident. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Both of you need new secret bases. You can't show the audience because you can't trust them. No. So both of you, new secret bases. This one's a dud. We're in the danger zone right now. I know. I'm th- I'm it's sad. a nice dud. Thank you. It's real nice. Nice I, dud. I worked so hard on this place and now it's just going to get found. So. Well, now it's just free interior, isn't it? He's just, he's I know. just a free room. It's a bit, well, I mean, it's I a just, win win for Corrales, really. Exactly. It, 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 my gift to him is what it will be. There he goes. Okay. Bye. Okay, we can stand. Good. Rest your knees. Good. Okay. Good. Nice. <laughs> so I wasn't finished in here, though. I wanted to liven it up and, like, have, you know, like, people in here enjoying has beverages. Corrales, and mm-hmm. Has Corrales found it yet? No, not that I know of. Okay, well, we should definitely leave him a present because, like, at the moment, we've just done him a... Well, you've done him a, a great <laughs> duty and given him a free interior. I think mm-hmm. we should fill this thing with armor stands full of Corrales for funsies. Uh, with his face on it? Just every patron face. in here yeah. is a Corrales? I love that. Yeah. With his face. I think he'll, he'll, <laughs> he'll appreciate that. He'll appreciate that. The only yeah. issue is I, I, I have not got any Corrales heads. I've got I... a lot of B-dubs heads. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm in the yeah, same yeah. boat. I'm in the same boat. Uh, his heads are hard to find on the server. They're just too unique. Yeah, I think I only have one. Oh man! Okay, well, we and can it's do in his thing. bedroom. Let's do yeah. the thing where we will change uh, the skin, our skin, to Corrales, and then we can like harvest each other's face, like I do with B Dubs every now and again. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> and if we all three do it, we can get a lot of them, right? Yes. Okay, oh, cool. Okay, I like it. Put that, put that bed down, and we'll. Uh, oh, oh, look at this! Look at this! Boom. I got, I brought you one. Boom! Oh, look at that! Okay. Look, see, color coordinated. Oh, nice. wow, <laughs> okay, right. Everyone change into Corrales and make sure okay. we're not here. <laughs> Dudes. All right, I've got some I got some special swords as well for this. <laughs> I have brought a special sword oh, as God. well. <laughs> I did not bring a special anything. No. Oh, oh. no. I got to get the totem off. Here we go. This gotta tells that. me that I'm going to be I'm going to be the sacrificial lamb, here. I imagine, here initially. You go. Here you go, B-Dose. Okay. You can you can borrow right. some from the bottom chest if you want. Well, oh, okay, I good. imagine that we're all gonna um, drop our swords as we kill each That's other. That's true. So we'll, yeah. we'll be picking it up. It's gonna be sword roulette here. Okay. Ooh, nice. This is hilarious. What is? <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, reset the spawn. Yep, we're mm-hmm. good. Uh, just press tab for a second. Is that not the most glorious <laughs> thing? <laughs> <laughs> Stick and Tango Cam ruining it. <laughs> all right. We have to do this while he's online. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Hey, oh, I knew I... Yes. <laughs> you're wearing armor, b Oh, yeah, you got armor on, man. Oh, you're, I got armor you're, on. You're, yeah, you're let me take it kill. off. Hold on. <laughs> hey! <laughs> all right, how many How many heads have we got? Killed by Grian. Oh, no, these are all killed by Grian. All of these are killed <laughs> by Grian. I feel like he thought this was some sort of contest. <laughs> okay, that's 23. I got 23 in my inventory, guys. Oh, man. That's, that's enough. Surely that's, that's, that's enough. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Look at these. Look at this. It looks like laying this down like perfect. prone guys. <laughs> that is just so wrong. So good. They Little Corrales, Corrales turtles. Turtles, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, can we just, instead of doing the armor stand thing, why don't we just fill this place with Corrales turtles? <laughs> yeah. Does that not matter? Yeah. I think that's a fantastic idea. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no! You're gonna go all the way. Oh wait, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, okay. Whew. All right. Let's turtle this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I've got loads of green dye. Let's craft up some beds. This is gonna be. I don't know why. I don't know how this has ended up happening, but it has. <laughs> let's, let's fill this thing with Corrales turtles. I've got to say, dudes, this is like one of the weirder things that's happened in Hermitcraft. Uh, yeah, it is so. weird. This, yeah. I, I'm. I mean, when when I logged in today, I didn't think this is where this was going. <laughs> <Not at all>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these ones are like having a, a chat with each other. <laughs> Hold on, yeah, we'll make these guys have a chat as well. Boom! I'm out of Corrales heads. We're done. This oh, is man. this is the best. Thing this is a mutant ever. mutant one. Have you ever seen the mutant turtle Ooh. with two heads? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, no. this is a nice surprise. Uh-huh. I I he looks surprised for sure. The anticipation's killing me. What's he typing? What, what's it gonna say? <laughs> 
<laughs> Hit enter, Green. Come on, <laughs> I'm dying over here. I need... Hold on. I thought these updated in real time. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Then we could see all his typos. Yeah, that would be <laughs> nice. Yeah. All that typing, I feel like he's going to need another sign. Yeah, might need to need another sign. <laughs> Maybe a lectern. Oh, I've just been typing gibberish. <laughs> I finished ages oh, ago. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Sleepy Turtle where no one sleeps. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Very good. Love it. Oh, there you go. There we go. We're done. Beautiful. This is perfect. Okay, He's so I actually, I actually have something that we need to do at my secret base. Um, I think I think that we're past the point of even keeping it secret from each other because last episode I was making my secret base. B Dubs just breaks through the wall. <laughs> uh, well, well, this is over. Like, I, yeah. <laughs> so I had to take my base down before Corallis had even seen it. So yes. I was like, what's the point? I've uh. made a new secret base and I don't even think there's any point us hiding it from each other. But I do mm -hmm. think we should link them up. So gonna do gonna do a clap and we're all gonna cut to my base because I'm not showing anyone the entrance. You ready? Three, two, one. Welcome to my secret base. Wow, this looks expensive. It is. I mean, it's bright. It's uh, clean. Haughty um, would be the word I would use. Haughty. <laughs> Haughty. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do it with an accent. Yeah. So I got a nice, I got a nice hot tub in here. Ooh, I got a pesky oh. bird. You know, this is fun. So chilling. This is just flexing on my wealth. You know. I don't want to like leave it. now. How long can uh, I stay? So. My secret base is currently unknown to Corallis and the audience, so this one is safe. But okay. you guys, both of you, because you both showed your bases on the camera, y'all yeah, need to make a new secret base. And so over here, I've made the start of a sewer system. Hey! No! Oh! <laughs> What's that part of the game? Uh-oh. What's that part? <laughs> I think I lost diamonds. <laughs> was that part of it? <laughs> Did you Did actually lose diamonds? some diamonds from that? Oh, thank I don't goodness. think. I don't think so. Oh, oh. Hmm. I don't think oh. he lost any. <laughs> v dubs. <laughs> hmm. What you got in your hand there, buddy? Oh, you can okay. see it. <laughs> okay, he's okay. good. Can, can he's you, good. There's, there's a couple more blocks that need to go there. V dubs. That's all I got. There, oh, you one did more. lose one. I did. Oh. <laughs> Wow. No. Did it on, Hang on. purpose. Hang on. I got this. I know you just missed a spot. It's all good. We got no, you taken no care one, of. No one picked there up. There we go. I'm, I'm lost a diamond block to that. <laughs> you lost a diamond. I think it was worth it. Yep. <laughs> so for he, you? Well, not for me. Diamond. I'm sure you guys got a good laugh out of it. Just like this corner <laughs> next time I come down here. <laughs> oh, uh, man. You know, it's been such a long time since anyone's died to creepers. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> shocked more than anything. I know. <laughs> uh. Okay, well, I paid for that. All right, so this is the sewer. I guess I don't need this because it blew up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that so corner's gone now. My, my secret base has its own like little private tunnel. And I, I mean, Ooh. I haven't actually built the sewers, but Impulse, I have made, be careful. I I'm, made a tunnel. I'm floating. <laughs> I made a tunnel, and uh, so it'd be good if you guys could link up your bases to the sewer system, and then, well, I have I have a plan, but I will I will tell you about the plan later. Also, I have to tell you, I invited Etho, Ren, and Scar, but I don't know if they've oh! accepted. Oh man, so this <laughs> so could this could like, escalate. How many secret bases if everybody joins? Well, I mean six if everyone Pl joins in. Plus the ones that got found. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, every time we find, find one, uh, Karanis finds one, we need to make another. Right, does that sound good? Sounds that sounds awesome. fantastic, yeah. Sewer system, awesome. Well, there you go. We've got a new plan in place, and we will just be leaving this to Corrales as a bit of a present, I suppose. We'll kind of love these little turtle Corrales beds. <laughs> 
face. It just looks so ridiculous. And from the sounds of it, we're going to have some new people joining us with the secret base shenanigans. So looking forward to that. And as you heard Green say, we're going to hook up a sewer system. And I'm not going to make the same mistake next time. I'm not going to show you exactly where the base is. Because even though I thought we had a deal that we were going to be putting out the wrong information to kind of confuse all the hermits, uh, it seems to be that uh, there was just there's just too much sus being thrown my way. So we're gonna we're gonna ditch that plan. Also, needed to do something about this because we can't just lead him to the new sewer system either. So I left him a sign. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Hopefully he discovers that. And uh, even if he does go past that wall, it doesn't go to the actual sewer system. So we're good. We're good. Just the old secret bases that have been all bamboozled by now. So I will be building a new secret base. Uh, also not going to do that today because, again, I don't want to show you guys where it's at. And uh, I still need to scope out a place. But to be honest, we just have too much going on today. We've got another project that we need to get to because if you remember at the end of last episode... We ended with a to-be-continued, and that's right, Iskall and I started to dig a bunker. In fact, let's fly over to the shopping district and let's find out where the countdown is at. Okay, things are definitely getting real now. There's only two lights left, so we better get to work, get that bunker built, and I am going to actually build a door. That's not something I usually do. I'm not the redstone door person. You know, usually we call mumble for that, but I have done it, actually. I spent some time in creative, working on some redstone, and I have invented a very cool bunker door. So let's go build it up. Now this is absolutely the coolest door I've ever made. And I'm not just saying that because it's one of the only ones I've ever made. This one presented some unique challenges for itself because you can see we're in a desert. And so that means the door needed to be covered by sand and I had to find a way to do that. And so basically the way this door works is as you can see when it opens up, this sand just drops out and then these stairs come out so we can get down into the bunker. And then all I'm doing is basically rotating the sand through this machine here. So the sand that falls then makes its way over to here and kind of conveyor belts over and then back up so that as we close the door behind us, it can then recover all these stairs up. So let's go ahead and press it again and you'll see that. And then the sand comes over and rehides the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, this is a bit tricky to figure out, but we got it working. Maybe I over-engineered it. Maybe it's over-complicated. Somebody's going to be like, hey, Impulse, why don't you just do this? And it's going to be the most simplistic thing. But hey, I had fun building this and trying to figure out the circuits and things like that. It's been a while since I've done some hefty redstoning like this, so that felt good. And the end product is exactly what I was looking for, hidden staircase down into the bunker here. Didn't want any kind of like vertical door or anything like that. I wanted something completely hidden, hidden so that when we do cover this up, which I'm about to do, nobody's going to be able to even tell that it's here. And that's going to be amazing. So a couple things I need to do. I need to cover it up, like I said, but also this isn't going to be the way to get in. I think I want to add like a secret key code type thing. And I've done one of those in the past for iTrade. And I'm going to have to look that up. I think I did a tutorial on it and everything. So I'm going to go watch my own tutorial and we'll get a secret key code entrance and I'll put it somewhere inconspicuous around here. And you won't even know this is there. Well, I don't see a secret entrance to you. <laughs> you can't even tell it is there anymore. I mean, other than this big hole in the ground kind of giving away the fact that we got something going on, obviously Iskall and I are going to continue working on this bunker, cover this whole thing up so nobody will know it's there. At least now we've got a door that we can use. If we just throw a piece of sand into that dead bush, we get our 
key back. This is our key. Uh, we're going to obviously have to change this up. We don't want sand to be the, the unique key to get in this door. But now we can get down into the bunker easily. Oh, and I should probably fill this up with some of these blocks here to kind of hide that redstone. That's probably a good idea. We'll clean all that up and then a key again and everything should close back up. We get our key back and there we go. All hidden once again. How awesome is that? Such a cool and unique door. Yeah, I I know I could have done it a lot easier, a lot simpler, but I mean, come on. The idea of sand falling into a conveyor belt is just too cool. It is just way too cool. So I couldn't help myself. <laughs> All right, let's close that back up. We need to now go figure out what kind of key we're going to use to get into this place. It needs to be something very unique. What is this? Oh my goodness. This is definitely new. Uh, <laughs> I leave the shopping district for just a few minutes to go build a secret door and something crazy appears. What is this all about right here? It's a whole bunch of bee related stuff. What? There's bees here now. Bee signs. What is happening here? This is craziness. What? Um, humble, ah, the Baggins Society. I saw that. Welcome bee... Big B be believers. Oh, that's hard to say. Big B be believers. Oh my goodness. What is this? Are we, wait a minute. Welcome to the hive home to all your big B merch. What is happening in here? This is crazy. Big B merchandise created specifically for the HCBBS, also known as Hermitcraft Big B Swarm that will occur when the countdown hits zero. I don't think so. I think these, oh my goodness, I think they have it all wrong. <laughs> oh, how sad is this going to be when this whole thing explodes at the uh, the bye-bye season finale of this countdown? Oh my goodness, that reminds me, we're going to get back on task here. What, there's more signs here? I have B to build, what? What is happening here? Believers gather here at 4 p.m. Tuesday for banner dedication. What? <laughs> Uh, I just came back here because I thought, you know what, one of these might actually be a cool key to have. You see, change is coming. I think that's the one. I want to grab this. I just want to borrow. Oh, it almost went in fire. I just wanted to borrow this real quick, and we'll just take this and just kind of control C this, right? And we'll put that right back in there, and then I can get a bunch of keys for myself and Iskall. There we go. That's how we do it. Bam. There we go. We got 64 keys just in case one of us loses them. Oh my goodness. Uh, this B thing is crazy. What is that? That is nuts. Um. <laughs> oh, weird stuff happening around this countdown. Oh, it's going to be interesting to see who's right. With two lights left, it's coming soon. All right, I've swapped out the lock, and now this should be the new key if we throw it in the dead bush there. There we go. Looks like it's opening up for us. We can make our way down into the bunker, and then when we're done doing what we need to do, toss another one in on our way out and make sure it's back to being completely hidden. There it goes. Oh, this thing is so cool. All right, well, of course, we've got so much more work to do. Hopefully, uh, I mean, next episode, obviously, we got to make sure this bunker is complete and covered up and all of our valuables in it with only two lights left on the countdown there we got to make sure our stuff is safe just in case we are correct about the season going bye-bye uh you know better safe than sorry this may be ridiculous you know we, we we may have done all this for nothing but like i said before to isco i i'd like to just be cautious about this because i got too many things to lose also we got to build up a big cactus farm that we started in the base and obviously our secret base will probably get bamboozled by Corrales soon so we need to get a new secret base and build up some tunnels in the sewer system and connect to the other hermits the secret base society wait s b -S okay good that's not that's not the same thing okay whew, just making sure anyway all right hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today if you did hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure you do that before you go with that said i'll see you again next time have a good one, everyone.